So let's go ahead and look on the new filter for G7. So this is application that has allowed you to create textures, apply different filters. It is kind of must to have applications. Have it something similar with other ones, but this is a little bit more than just the filters. For example, uh, and we'll look a little bit later, when I need to create applications for um, simulate some filters, I just open filter forge and create my own. Or if you need create textures, then you can do it. You'll notice right here, new version is coming out, uh, come out. It's filter forge seven, which have it a big improvement. It's improvements in render speed. So if you create different textures and we'll look in a second, then you can have this also it is uh, support copy paste and all multiple different things. So you'll notice right here where it says you also have it a huge collection. So it's a 12 over 12,300 textures and effects. It is one of the largest collections. So the applications can be accessed in multiple ways. It can be as a standalone application or you can go inside the Photoshop, for example, open Photoshop, and from there you can go to filters and go in Filter Forge. So you can do this way. Plus, Filter Forge 7 allowed you new options. That is, you can simply copy and paste in. So here's example. Let's go to gallery and we'll just select some image. So it doesn't matter anyone, like for example, these ones. We can go, you can go just copy image go inside and you can just paste this image and you can see this is simple even copy paste function will work with this so in filter forge you'll have options of different type you can create standalone textures so for example if you work with uh, modeling or you want to use different overlay you can go inside and have a huge collection of this of course um, this is a collection that I preloaded. If you need more, you can go just click free download more filters that will bring you to this library of the filters. So example, here's a, let's look very fast on my filters. Here's some of my filters that I created and you can search for specific name or other things. If you always go to create by a after and look on all these different filters all what you need to do for example if you like the specific filters you can click on this and click open this filter inside the filter forge and after this filter is downloaded to your uh, library and it will be there anytime when you delete library you may be want to reinstall it re-uploaded filters but the permit there and this unlimited use on those filters you can use it for any of your commercials or private and do all the stuff that you like it. Um, so right here, I say you have it, your textures, uh, you have it, your creative stuff. So one is overlay or modified with the, your textures is actually nice because in a new one, you can export all these channels together. So before you should use to just click and render them single one by one. However, now if you export in your configurator, you want to say um, which filters you want to export and they will export at the same time. So for example, we go click on file export and you can see right here the rendering at the same time much faster. And this is all images that I selected for this. So I'm having my uh, diffuse bump, normal specular, all of this, which is save a lot of time. And you can notice how faster, much faster it is working right now. Of course, in version seven, it's support all new um, Adobe Photoshop 2018 and all these other applications. So they integrated seamlessly with this, like Corel Paint, Corel Paint Shop Pro or Photoshop Elements, so all of this, the plugin will integrate inside and you can open this application directly from um, inside of those and process. So again, right here, you can see all of them render 100%. It's quite a bit fast actually for this size, so it's very nice. And of course, as you're creating textures, remember you can always change to seamless. So it will create seamless texture if you need it or other things. The other big plus and benefit of these applications, that is you can modify this filter. So you don't just come with preset. If you have a pro version, 
you also will have an option access to filter editor. And as you access, you can modify or you can create your new one. So some of filters, it's very easy to just go. It's a flow. You have it inside and you can go over. So you can modify, twink, adjust your filters. And um, of course, if you want to learn more about how to work with filters, I have a lot of tutorials covering filter fortunes, how modify on my website. So it's geekatplay.com. And if you just go to tutorials, we'll go to um, filter forge. And right here, you can see even included new filter forge with update filters. So you have it all the series in inside series, you have it um, overall hundreds of the tutorials that cover explanation of the nodes and everything. So you have good resources here, as well on YouTube, or if you're going in a forum of the filter forge is very active forum. So you can get some access from there. Again, um, it's depend what you like to do, you have it some photo filters that you can modify photos if you are a photographer or one retouching or if you even 3d artist you have it access to all of these beautiful textures that you can modify and use um from my personal use i use this quite a bit often applications and i will highly recommend for you to get one if you are a photographer or 3d artist and of course, if you want to get these applications, I will provide links for this direct application and my tutorials down in a description of this and some links so you can go ahead, click and download a trial. It's 30 days free trial. You can play around and see how it will work or not for you. And uh, after this, you can purchase it. Many times they have a very nice special offer, so you can save a little bit on this. And as well, I will provide link to my other playlist and tutorials about filter forge so you can go inside download the first free um free 30 days trial play around see if you like it or not and you can also use this also if you create a very nice filters that is one small tip i give it to you that you can submit those filters in a library and if people like those libraries you get a points if you can get enough the points you will actually get filter forge for free so it's it is encourage you to actually create a filter submit and if filters is popular and people like those filters you actually get it this application professional versions for free and in some case you can have a free lifetime update on the application as well